Flowering plants produce most of the food we eat, and they're the grass that we walk on, and the trees in the forests we hike through. The magic of plant reproduction happens inside those flowers, where the female ovules and the male pollen grains develop in different tissues. Now a lot has to go right, but when it does, the pollen and ovules get together and create the seed, the next generation. Now if we zoom in to the center of the flower where male and female get together, we see that pollen starts out dehydrated, in a state of suspended animation. Which means it has to absorb water provided by other cells to rehydrate and reanimate. Once back in action, the pollen creates a long pollen tube that grows a great distance to the ovule so it can fertilize it and create a seed. This is what normally happens, but pollen missing a gene called MSL8 doesn't survive rehydration or pollen tube growth as well, meaning it produces fewer seeds. MSL8 is a mechanosensitive ion channel. Bacteria have a mechanosensitive ion channel too, called MISGES. This protein helps bacteria survive environmental stress, so that, for example, when it rains and excess water enters the cell, MISGES can release ions. Since water follows ions, the extra water leaves too, and the cell survives the stress. In pollen, MSL8 is very similar to MISGES. But instead of helping it handle rain, MSL8 helps relieve the pressure of water entering during rehydration. So pollen that has MSL8 can continue its long journey to the female and produce a seed to start the cycle all over again.